King, okay? Funny, y'all. So, um, I, I'm, I, I'm gonna keep you up. Hey, you dropped that freshman year. Those folks don't even know who you are. No, well, I ain't no bad, baby. I stayed there all four years. And I was in the yearbook. All four years. I was in the yearbook all four years, baby. Go get the yearbook. Pay your money. Pay your money. Pay your money and get the yearbook. Pay your money and get the yearbook. I was there all four years. All four years. This is my daughter. Thank you. Tell me they know who you were. Okay, well, go get the yearbook. Go get the yearbook. Stop running your mother mouth and go see me in the yearbook. Go get the yearbook. That's what you need to do. Go get the yearbook. Okay. Go get the All yearbook. Right, you can stop trying to cut me up. Mother. Oh. Oh. What? What's <laughs> up, baby? What you doing? Hey, my Kenny. Girl, I ain't doing nothing. You know honey. I love you, Kenny, but you bullshit. What I do now? What don't you do? You know what? You coming on here picking these folks, acting like your leaving the show. Oh, Lord. You just want the little attention for 24 hours. Oh, Lord. Oh. Mm. Oh. You know I know your oh, don't do it. Don't do it, Miss Shockley. Don't do it. Don't do it. Miss Shockley, I'm out of here April the 12th. <laughs> you ain't going no damn way. Oh. <laughs> you oh. 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 Well, I, the show just got started. Golly. Well, oh. you go, just <laughs> well, you to catch your little spotlight. And go ahead and tell these folks. The All truth. these blogs ran a story on me. But I'm, I'm going to talk about that a little later about my two week oh. notice. I'll put it in. That's what y'all hit the yacht. Okay, y'all. You sure know what to say. Dead mm -hmm. love you, baby. Bye. Bye, baby. 901 520 1091. Let me get in. Uh, JT! JT! Uh, hold on, y'all. Because, see, you know what? Hold on, y'all. He can't be smoking up in this studio. I smell marijuana. In the bathroom. Hold on, y'all. Cause I don't know what JT went to. What you was you, you can't smoke marijuana in Mr. Crenshaw's bathroom. You need to go up on the third floor you where ain't none this. When I went into the bathroom, I smelled marijuana. Not on my watch. Okay, is somebody over in the other studio B I or C. So. All right, good. You can't smoke in My this building. Can't be lying no okay, I'm just saying I'm not accusing you. But yes, while you you're here, I'm your supervisor. Yes, you you anyway, I was you. trying to tell you that I ordered some DoorDash. Yeah, hold on. That's what I was trying to tell you that I ordered some DoorDash. Yeah, hold on. You gonna eat some, guys. What's this wrong with that? I'm trying to say what I ain't trying to say. I just want something new. You got the flow? It's a home. Can you give me a... Okay. Mm -mm. Hold up. Hold on. Hold up. Y'all, hold on. Y'all, go check out me and JT Mukbang on YouTube. Okay, hold on. Let me do this. Y'all, hold on. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay, how many of these you want? You want them right now? Mm. I need some more. 
Yeah, hold on. Me and JT on the lunch break because we've been at the studio for about two hours working today. Because I don't know what Mr. Crenshaw done got going. I don't want no drones. I don't want no drones. Well, look. I don't eat drones. He's trying to be my pick, you old style here. Oh, you gotta get one drum today. Get the drum off my tray. You look ignorant. It's time to draw, eat drum. You gonna make me eat it? You know what? <laughs> yeah, hold on. You gotta go check out me and JT Mukbang. Hold on, y'all. Oh. With the cookout sauce. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to eat wings with the cookout sauce, y'all. Y'all, go check out me and JT Mukbang. Y'all, let me take this lunch break because I haven't eaten nothing. DoorDash just came. Y'all, please allow me to take this quick lunch break. Please, y'all. We have a lot to talk about tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, please got me to eat please. Please allow me to eat. Okay. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Now I gotta smoke some crack and this is the first time I'm gonna eat some Y'all, please allow me to eat, please, quickly. And I'm gonna be on with the show. We got a lot to talk about tonight, so the hold on. Y'all, just bear with me, okay? I'm on a live lunch break, and I got y'all. Who are you eating your meat? Oh, I have not eaten anything today. Nothing. Y'all, go on YouTube and check out me and JT Mukbang we did the other day. We uploaded it tonight. And it's crazy because the, the Mukbang we did, we ordered the same food tonight. Y'all, please let me eat. Hmm. Y'all, please allow the program to eat. And I'm going to check you out. I'm going I don't give a what you believe. Believe your memory. Believe that. Some niggas won't be lying like that. Yeah. Be lying. No one that won't be barking Yeah. Mama suck my dick in the law now. I let them get a water bottle. And I have to be careful because I know some of these bloggers in here be waiting on me to eat a certain way so they can go and pick art shit. And pick. Ooh. These motherfucking bloggers is, is a muck. Y'all, I ain't even know. These bloggers, they some dirty for real. Damn, deep, deep throw that. And this is the same cup. It was on the video. This is the bigger cup. The other one was small. Go do your research. Do your homework. Do your homework. That's what you can do. Go do your homework. Clock it. Go clock it. Y'all, please, excuse me. I Calm down. I'm on a quick lunch here. Mm. If y'all don't want to let me take my lunch break, I can just end the live and come back after I get done eating. So what y'all want to do? Because if you want, I'm asking y'all, can I take a guy lunch break? At this point, the food is good as a mouth. No, I'm fine. 
Let me ask you what you want. Put my, my trap on it. What kind of, okay, just see the come. I ain't trying to come over there while you eat. He down there bite me. Why ain't no bite your mother? See? What the f you talking about, old stupid see? ass? Hey. Yes? How the f you get to work 10 minutes late and then you taking a lunch break? You my ain't worked an hour yet. My How the f you taking a lunch break? My daughter just got here and I don't like no. when they call. Mm -mm. So can y'all just bear with me? I mean, I know it's, I know I understand, but I'm just, you know, I mean, please forgive me. Please for eight me. Might eat up all the food. You know what I'm taking? Don't invite Kenneth to know where y'all gotta eat it. Cause your food gonna be gone. Uncle, you trying to say I eat a lot? Eat too much, Mr. Lee. How many times do I eat a day, JT? Keep it 100. Don't lie. Five, not this 10, a thousand times. <laughs> They're going to put that in the blog. They're going to put that in the blog while you playing. They're going to blog that. Yeah. They're going to believe whatever you say. A I told thousand. you. You so, eat a thousand times. Okay. Bet I got you. They're going to end up in the blog. Kid, Hold on a Get to me no more, ho. Because you know, mother. And where I don't even two times a motherfucking day, JT. And you know that. Man. Two twenty times a day. I thought you said two twenty, Kenny. My bad. Okay, no, it's cool, JT. We ain't got to talk about five hundred. Five hundred. I'm on a lunch break. Now let's see. You gotta walk through. What is five hundred? This that JT ain't lying. See, I told you. What? 500 LBS, man. Don't talk to me no more, JT. Don't say, don't say it to me. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk to you no more. <laughs> don't say <laughs> to me, man. Where do 500 LBS? JT, man? don't say a uh, thing to All me. Right, now we're finna troll you, man. Don't say <laughs> to me. Hey, Kenny stepped on the uh, on Can the on the on the on the on the on the on the measure thing, right? What's the name of that mother thing? You measure your weight. What's they called? He quiet now. The judge said 500 LBS. So what do LBS mean? Pounds, ounces? What do That's LBS mean? You shouldn't lie like that, JT. It's not funny to me. You don't have to lie to these people. Hey, if it's funny. You shouldn't say that. You, should, you really should get out of my show. Yeah, look, what they say. Scale, you, scale, you, scale, you scale, get scale, out my scale, show. scale, scale. Pounds. They said it mean pounds. They said, oh my God, wow, pounds. <laughs> Woo. In the name of Jesus, shop a lot of little Can you stop playing? I'm not playing because if you're up here playing. That's not cool. Bro, it ain't nothing but no, it don't joke. matter. They run shit in these blogs. You can't say that kind of These folks going to report I, I weigh 500 pounds because you said yeah, that. It ain't shit but a meal. It don't matter. You can't say that like that when it's not true. They already bashed me about my weight. And then for you to get on here as my cousin and say, I weigh 500 pounds, how, how you think that shit finna go? Okay. That shit ain't cool, no. Nah. It ain't me. even cool. They is gonna believe that shit. Cause you said it. Did you say 500? It don't matter, you said it. Bro, this it mine, came out your mouth. This mine is so funny. I told you because what you, you said on this You internet. wouldn't be able to move out the bed Man, if you weighed 500 It don't matter, you pounds. said that, they gonna run that story. Look, look at, look at 13. Them folks gonna run that. Look, look at. Them folks been saying I weigh 500 pounds. You gonna bust out and say this shit, man. That's real up for my cousin to even joke and play. I don't even play about my weight. I don't even weigh for nothing, period. Let you know I'm five something. If he was 500 pounds, he wouldn't be able to get out of the bed, y'all. But he is dramatic. I'm finna leave him and y'all. Together, I'm gone. Time out for 500 pounds. You just over exaggerate. Nah, you, you, that came out your mouth. That came out of your mouth. You That's what you said. It don't matter. You said it online. It came out of your mouth. At the end of the day, you said that.
It don't matter. You it came out your mouth. It don't matter what it is. You my cousin, they gonna believe you. Cause it came out your mouth. It don't matter, playing or not. You don't play like that. You know I've been struggling. You know I've been losing weight. That hurt my feelings real talk. You know what that fucking scares. I just lost 17 pounds. Cut back on my eating. Then you get on here and tell these folks I weigh 500 pounds. That's real fucked up, man. Like for real. That ain't cool, JC. Real fucking talk. And that just killed my mother's appetite. I don't even want to complete the fucking show tonight. But that shit ain't cool. Now, I work too fucking hard. I don't even drink drinks no more. That shit ain't cool. You thought you fucking cousin? They gonna run into the blog. That shit ain't cool, man. Real talk. I just told you the other day, JT, be careful what you say on here. That shit ain't cool. Carla, welcome in. Hello. Hi, boo. Hey, who is this? Hey. Um, this is Danny Kenny. I just wanted to say that I love you so much, and I'm sending you love from North Carolina. Thank you, and baby. And you're welcome, boo. And also, I'm enjoying the show tonight. And you know, no matter what nobody say, we love you for you. Thank you, You baby. know? And Thank also, you. I just hate the way you eat that chicken. You remind me of my mama with that big <laughs> tooth. Oh, Lord. What's the tooth well, I, I don't I don't even have an appetite. I'm me. I'm going to eat how I want to eat. And that's sloppy. No, I'm not going to change that. You're mad. Carla, welcome yeah. here. Hey, Kenny. I, I just want to jump the first Look, time. Oh, like I am one of the story wrong bitches, Kenny. Look, you know what? Hold on, Tamika. Lucky, you can run whatever story you want to run. You've been running stories on me for the last two weeks. So if that made you happy, run your story. What's up, Tamika? Hold on, Lucky. Hurry up. Hurry up. Because you know I'm for the road so big. Come on. I'm listening, Tamika. Okay. Kenny, why you got that much greasy ass bob, that greasy lips, and that greasy ass shit? Bitch, you a greasy mother. Today, that tooth not took it, the body not body out of this. What you got going on that food? Because it's so late, ever you ain't no. You food. ain't got to tell Lucky to stop being messy, baby. That's what he do. He sit up and troll me and wait to run stories on me. I'll be in all the blogs first thing in the morning. But it's cool, though, Lucky. Do, do whatever you in the other blog that want to run their stories. Y'all can run them. It's cool because I know how much I really weigh. I don't care what nobody okay, say. I know my way. I don't even weigh, weigh 400, down, nothing. I ain't even close to five, nothing. Nine one one five two zero one zero nine one. y'all. Here's the number again. Tamika, I'm not finna argue with you tonight. I'm just, I'm just really, you know, to be honest with y'all, I really want to end my show because I do struggle with losing weight. That's no secret. But the fact that People already bash me about my weight. I have tried so hard to make sure that I, I've lost 17 pounds. And I'm proud of myself. I am proud of myself. I only eat twice a day now. I don't drink. I haven't had a soda since January the 2nd. I have not had a soda at all. And I've tried so hard to lose the weight. Okay. And so even though my cousin got on here and said that I weigh over 500 pounds 20 times or whatever he said, I don't play like that. That's not joking to me. That's not funny or any of that because I've been trying hard. This year, I have really been trying. And so when I went to the doctor last week and I got on the scale, I lost 17 pounds. I have not drank a drink since January of the 2nd. I haven't ate ground beef. Y'all talk about eating burgers and stuff. No, I only eat fish and chicken. I haven't had a burger in a year and a half. Okay, I don't eat no ground beef at all. And have not eaten no red meats. Okay, so that hurt my feelings. And I got feelings soon. Especially when my cousin have seen and know the struggle that I have been through and trying to lose weight. You don't joke like that. That's sensitive to me. Okay, because there are people out here who is really trying to be like me and lose weight. It's not easy. It is not easy. It wasn't easy me giving up those drinks. That wasn't easy at all. That was a struggle for me to let go drinks. It's a struggle for me to eat twice a day. So my DoorDash came in and I wanted to eat my food. Okay. And so I, I know they're going to run their stories. And let them run. Them running the stories does not bother me. What bothers me is how my 
cousin sit up and joke about it like it was a joke. Knowing that these people on this internet, anything you say, they'll take and run with it. Call her welcome in. I wouldn't give you 500 pounds, so it's okay. No, I'm not even 400 pounds. I'm not even 400 pounds, but I'm not even 490. I'm not 490. I'm I'm not four hundred okay, nothing. So if you know you're not, you don't have to be personal. No, 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 it's more. just no. It's, it's just the that way you eat, Kenny. It's, it's not that. the way you eat. I've already changed the way I eat. I've already done that. I have already done that. What bothers okay, me the if most? You know you've done that. So why did your back get bigger? You know what? Nine zero one five two zero one zero nine one. Y'all, here's the number. Get it. Nine zero one five zero. 1091 is the number to get in, y'all. Get in on phone lines. 901520-1091, y'all. Is the number to get in. You know, I, I'm just, I'm really, really disturbed. I really am. Because I work so hard at what I'm trying to do. And so, you know, to get on here and, and do that is just unacceptable to me. It really is. Okay? I'm not no 390 nothing. Okay? I ain't 390. Okay, so y'all can say what y'all want to say. And I'm not going to let y'all even bother me. But it hurts when it comes from a family member joking like that. Because what y'all say, I, I could give a less. Okay, but when a family member says something like that, jokingly or not, it bothers you. Now, I've had a conversation with JT and told him, JT, you have to be careful with what you say on this live. You have to be very careful. Look at 13, I'm not taking no call from you. You can stop calling my show. Um, I told you last week, um, run your story. If, that's what, if that makes you happy, if that makes your itch, run your story. But I'm not taking no calls from you on this show, Lucky. I'm not, and I mean that. I'm not taking no calls from you. None. Okay? I'm not around with you. And that's period. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome in, welcome in to one of the most controversial but talked about shows. I am the one and only Kenny Lee, y'all. Before we got into that. You know, earlier this weekend, I posted a story about Josh, the ex-boyfriend of Alva. Okay, now let me say this before I get into things. Many of you all do not know, but since we was in Orlando, I've always have had access to Mitch instagram page okay and while some of you all have been in his dm i just look and i don't say anything but there was one person who dm'd him numerous of times in which mitch did not reply even though he sent the messages just like i did it was shocking to me because i thought that josh was somebody who was loyal and cool and maybe we could probably you know do a couple of you know of uh, skits or whatever on instagram Josh wanted to be personal with Mitch, wanting to get to really know him. But you played in my face, Josh, okay? Well, Josh, let me tell you something, baby. You don't have enough money for Mitch to even look at you, okay? Number two, you say you're going to grade school. You're not going to no motherfucking grade school, okay? You know, Josh... You do better out probably trying to go work at McDonald's or Burger King. Okay. Because believe it or not, John, I could say some things. I could say some things, but you're not worth it. But the fact that you said your ass up there and DM Mitch, I shared it to the world. But let me tell y'all this. As of tonight, I have officially taken over all of Mitch's social media accounts. Yeah, that's right. I had a conversation with his manager, publisher, on yesterday. And while we got into a very heated argument, she asked me about some things. And I said, well, give me the password to this. Let me check out and see what you're talking about. Well, little does she not know I changed all of his passwords, okay? So while you thinking that you all have access to Mitch, some of those replies were me. 
So, again, stay out of my motherfucking ex-husband's motherfucking DM because I see all you messages. And for that stinking Will Atlanta bitch, ho, you need to go sit down with your black. There's a few more of y'all I can call out, but I'm going to leave it alone. And for some of you who been in Mitch inbox snitching on me, going back telling him what the I'm doing, yeah, I seen those messages too. Some of you are some of the most messages I ever seen in my motherfucking life. Stay y'all mother out of my mother ex-husband's mother inbox. Do I make my mother self clear? to all of his social, all, uh, all of his social media accounts. I'm going to say it again. I have access to all of Mitch's social media accounts, including Bigo. Okay? So while you think that, oh, I didn't know him and Kenny Lee, uh, 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 let me remind you something. He flew me out for four nights and five days, paid for everything. And slept in the bed with me. Okay? I'ma say it again. Stay out of my mother ex-husband's DM. Okay? And even some of y'all frog legs was in this DM. But I'ma leave that alone and say that for a different day. And it's two more that y'all know that be running around this motherfucking platform. Trying to holler at Mitch. These so motherfucking fake. I can't stand a fake phone. Y'all hit the goddamn cash up. Good work. Let's talk. Josh is so motherfucking thirsty. Is so motherfucking thirsty for a. How dare you? Jump in Mitch inbox so much you want to get to know him. You ain't going to and going to grade school ain't gonna put no money in your pocket to after you get the degree. Okay. You don't know Mitch. I would advise you to back the down. Okay. And go find Alvo. That's your best bet, Josh. Because sliding in Mitch DM, you got us f***ed up. And I got you figured out. You know, after I got off live Friday with Josh and Mitch, I said, these motherfuckers could really be plotting some shit on a girl. Let me go check Mitch mother DM. And to my mother surprise, it was worse than I thought it was. Oh, yeah. Call and welcome in. Hello? Okay, well. That's that. Yeah, that's that. I mean, Josh, how dare you smile in my mother's face and then got the nerve to slide in Mitch DM? What a silly mother fool. Call you on the air. Man. Yes. You need to stop and make calls because I'm trying to get some. You know, girl, he don't want you. He don't want you. He don't want you. He don't want you. And I see all you in his DM. I'm about to cuss you down in a minute. What? You know what? You, you, you know what? Whatever. 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 What? You, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I got access to all Mitch's social media accounts as of right now. Because that's my ex husband. That's my ex husband. No, that's, that's a lie. That's a lie. I am single. I am single. I'm single. I am I am single and I'm free to mingle. Okay. No, no. No, Mitch is single. That's true. That's true. He is single. But
Twitter. Well, I'm running the Twitter account. I'm run. I just, I'm putting my pictures up tonight on his pages. That's what's going on. Yeah, I'm gonna show you who 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 won this. You went to after this mother show. I'm posting in the mother story. I got you. You gonna see tonight. You gonna see. I'm starting to spread these cheeks and put on a cheese string and post them. Fuck I turn out. Fuck I mother turn out. Call the welcome in. Don't forget what happened two weeks ago, Kenny. The news we found out. You said what? I said, don't forget the news we found out two weeks ago. I remember when you passed out on Sunday when you found out Angela. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I knew, yeah, I know about y'all. You right? I ain't forgot about that. I have not forgot about I'm a, that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna swallow him next. What the f you stinking mouth? Bitches? Yeah, you gonna swallow somebody? You gonna swallow somebody? Have you ever been swallowed up? Swallowed up? American. All I'm gonna say is just stay alert, cause a lot of my Black and whites don't know what's going on, but I do. So April the April the you know eighth, it's supposed to be an eclipse that they got going on or whatever the case may be. I'm just coming to let oh, my black American and my white American knows that stay alert, look at the skies and see what happens on what April on 8th. April the eighth. So make sure you mother stay alert. <laughs> Cause 2024 is just the beginning. <laughs> okay. We waiting. We waiting. <laughs> we waiting. <laughs> Period. Cause America ain't scared of a god thing at the end of the Monday. Y'all motherfuckers sit up here voting and don't know what the f you're voting for. So when a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people don't realize because they just too busy doing what they doing. Yeah. But what people need to understand, what us black Americans need to understand is that we need to be prepared because even though it's just a period, event, be prepared, it's just a month, and you know what I'm saying, a moon. But other than that, yeah, they hide all this other shit. They hide what they hide. But the real guy girls, the, the real guy girls, that <laughs> they're hiding to... That's what it is, bro. <laughs> okay. That's what it is. No, because you just clock the real just So with so that being said, y'all just better stay alert, cause that's what's going on. That's why they try to do all this little Luca balls and all this buckles and all this other. Hold on. No. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, you know, you know what I'm coming from. Y'all know where I'm coming from. So with that being said, just be prepared because it's gonna get crazy. Okay, this is just, just the beginning. Sorry, I want to motherfucking know the motherfucking real deal, and I'm going to find out the real deal. What is the motherfucking question? Huh? What is the question? Is y'all just, like, I don't get it. Is y'all mad because Americans is making money? And guess what? Either way it goes. Yeah, y'all want us to get all this. Y'all want us to get all that. But guess what? We are the one that's helping y'all, baby. We are the one, us black American, African American at that. It's literally helping y'all, helping the other country. But y'all, y'all decided to pick American because America is the biggest state. America is the richest country. America is the one that actually going up and doing this and doing that. But guess what, baby? We don't want no word, but we'll see what happened though. Okay. We'll see what happens. Because, baby, I don't mind buying me a weapon. What's up? What's good? I want to send them people over here. Bring them. And they better not protest downtown because I'm knocking me one of them. And I said and what I said. Spoken. said what I said. You want to play with me, baby? You want to play with me? Bring them to America. Let them cross the border if they want to. And, and think they come think they come down here to mother protest. Not I bet I see now that came for any state and say they come to mother represent for their country. Boom! That's going to be a first knockout for me. Okay. <laughs> that's going to be a first knockout for me. Okay, that's going to be a first knockout for me because y'all ain't coming over here to America to run.
Ooh. All I'm going to say, Ooh. us black Americans, we need to watch out and we need to stay alert and we need to understand that what the f they got planned is what the f they got planned for us black people. So with that being said, yeah, we ain't in no war, but we will be very soon. Hey, and this what us, a lot of black America needs to wake up to, that a lot of these things that they are planning just like the coverage, we already know that. You know what I'm saying? And people was going crazy. And American. So with that being said, they got something else coming soon. I don't know. They hide shit from us. What's the real gag? What, what's the real gag? What are y'all hiding from us? Because guess what, baby? Shamar going to find out every each and step of the motherfucking way. And I don't give a fuck. I'm going to motherfucking wait my the black queen American of up. Has and I'm going to let my black American know that a lot of y'all don't know what going on, but I'm going to find out some teas, and I'm going to dig it some teas. How about that? Okay. That's what we need to be asking the president, instead of just sitting here voting, and think that everything is going to be good, but they're not doing nothing, but setting us up. Period. Period. Every day, we already know the motherfucking tea. We already know the, the, the gag. <laughs> It's going to be an eclipse. I saw a moon turn. Uh, uh, I got down. Look like a mother burning mother. You know, like a, you know, like a, like a fire color. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 so, we got to start it. We're going to see what Like, what are y'all playing? What are y'all playing? Like, y'all trying to lock lights out? Y'all trying to make us do... Connection. Y'all nice. trying to make us start contact our, our family when we need them. Or, you know, we just want to know. We just want to know the tea. We just want to clock the tea. Because I want to know. I'm a black American mother. And with that being said, I'm going to find out and I'm going to know what the is going on in America. Because at the end of the mother day, they already say that. One thing about it, two things for sure. Let me tell y'all something that everybody don't even know. In oh, New York, they bridge collapse. In other states, they bridge collapse. And we will not be surprised that they are trying to come to America or uh, to knock ships down or to knock bridges down to make us new connections or if you out driving anywhere or if you driving on a bridge, do not drive on a bridge, because I'm telling you, that's what they're hitting at. That and wherever you at, that's really be careful. Be careful. <laughs> because these folks do not care about us black people. Do you understand? They do not care about us black and white. Matter of fact, let me just put it as that. Okay? They already doing a little law with the, the, the LBG, LBG crew. You know what I'm saying? With the trans and this, that. I feel bad for the trans, but at the end of the day, baby, we still at the end of the day. Okay. We have the right to be gay. <laughs> we have the right to do what we want. We have the right to motherfucking bring America together and let it make America great again. My thing is, what is the is we getting hired from? Where is the is the president and them other motherfucking Democrats is hired for us? I want to know. Do y'all want to know? Because I want to know. Y'all say that they hide this, they hide that, they hide this. Baby, I want to know the real tea. Where is the real tea behind this? That's what I want to know. Because I stand American. Huh. Uh, <laughs> we are and they already right now had a, uh, a protest. What was what, what, What's that country that came down here to protest? Or whatever. Baby, I want to know what's going on. What's the tea? Clock it. 